Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Franny, and today I look pretty crazy right now. This is just like my natural hair, like when I get out of the shower and it's just air dry. I am going to be doing my 0 to 100 transformation. I actually have to go to an event at 2 o'clock and it is 11.18. So I really only have like about an hour, hour and a half to get ready because I have to go to my friend's house, grab her. She wants me to take a few photos of her and then we have to go to this event. But this event is like a high-end event, so I'm going to be pretty extra. I was going to get ready. But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film it. I've been seeing people do these transfer. I just hit my hand so hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been seeing people do these transformation videos. They're pretty fun. They're interesting. And I was like, you know what? Why not just do one as well? The first part of this video is gonna be me in my bathroom, just straightening my hair. I'm actually gonna get started because I don't want to waste time. And then I'm going to move over and set up my lights and film on my uh, big camera. I haven't filmed on my big camera. I haven't done like a sit down type of thing. I feel like on my own in so long, so I'm gonna do that. Dude, my hair, I shed. Like, I shed like a dog. Okay, so I'm gonna put some oil in it. I'm gonna also, like, pluck my eyebrows. Clean them up, because my eyebrows are kind of ratched. So, how was everyone's Christmas slash New Year's? I went to the Merrill's. I'm out of breath. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize how, like, fast I was moving, <laughs> how fast I was talking. I went to the Merrill Twins house to be with their family. We were with a bunch of other people and like they brought their parents because I was with my dad. This New Year's and Christmas was just a little strange because I wasn't with my mom as some of you may know. So it's, it was a little interesting. It was kind of, I mean not interesting. I don't want to make it sad but it was a little sad because you know I've never missed a Christmas with my mom and this was the first one. She is going to be moving out here officially in March. First week, second week of March. So yeah she should be out here soon but it was super fun. It was like a potluck at the Merrill's. We all just brought different foods. We watched the ball drop. Let me tell you how confused we were, guys. Okay, as you know, I'm from the East Coast. Except for one New Year's, the first when I first moved out here, I spent New Year's here. But after that, every other New Year's I was in New Jersey. And it was so funny because we were watching the Dick Clark New Year's Eve countdown, whatever that was going on in New York. Like, I kind of figured it wasn't live because they're three hours ahead. But we literally thought that was live. They started airing like three hours after it started. So it would be like it makes sense for us when we count when we counted down. I've never I don't know, have I straightened my hair on camera before? I don't know. This flat iron is called bed it's a bedhead T I G I flat iron. I have had this flat iron since I was 14 and I'm 21 now. 14, 21. Can I do math? Probably not. What the heck? I know this. 14, 21. Seven. Yeah, seven. I'm so dumb. Wait. Yes, I'm thinking multiplication, sorry. Wait, what am I saying? Seven years. Yes. Wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Seven years I've had this thing. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. Yeah, this flat iron does wonders. Doing my hair is a process. I really don't think, ow, ow, ow. Have you ever burned your fingers on your hair? I do it all the time. Ow. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to finish up getting through most of it, and then I'll come back. I don't think y'all just want to see me straighten my hair, because... Who does? You know? Who does? All right, guys, I'm really speeding through it, because, guys, I'm not kidding. I can't lally-gaggle. Is that how you say it? Probably not. I can't just be messing around. Oh, my God. I'm on a time crunch. Where did that piece go that I just dropped? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm over it. That's the worst when you find, like... Oh, I found it. You find like stragglers when you're out and about and your hair is just one piece is like this like curly and you're just like Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Can you guys hear the screaming children and the the blow the blow dryer the um, Leaf blower outside. I live above a family that has like three little kids So like during the day all you hear is like kids like <laughs> They're like little kids so they they're literally in bed. They don't keep me up. They go to bed at like 9 and you don't hear anything. Actually, that's a lie. I've actually heard them screaming at like midnight before, but I was up, so it was a fine. I don't care what anyone says when people are like, Franny, you're so lucky to have curly and like wavy hair. No. People who have just straight hair that can get out of the shower and it's like, Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm like, oh my god, you're so lucky. A O K. Wow, guys, I did it. Woo, woo, woo. Wow, my hair looks like kind of red now, I guess. Because, like, I had my hair super dark a few months ago. And it was blonde before, so now, like, the dye is kind of coming out. So, like, now you can see, like, highlights in it, I guess. All right, guys, so I just finished my hair. And now I'm going to set up my makeup. I'm going to go and do that right now. 
Alright guys, I'm here on my bed, like studio setting I guess. I was gonna do it in the bathroom, but you know what, I wanted like better quality for this. I'm going to be doing my basic bootleg version makeup that I've done on this channel before. I don't know what that means, it is literally my like, I'm, I don't put like foundation on, it's like I just put a bunch of concealer on and boom, I have makeup on. But I look actually somewhat done, so it works. So what I just put on my face is the Too Faced Hangover Primer, I love this stuff. And the concealers I use is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers and then I also use Soft Matte Complete Concealer and Custard so I just throw these all over my face. Usually the lighter one, Vanilla, I put under my eyes and Custard, I kind of put out through my face. Yeah, like my pimples are pretty good right now. It's just I have a lot of scarring that isn't the most convenient. For this event, they said it's very like high-end. It's like a really nice, ow, ow, ow. My ear. Oh my god. I just pulled my earring. Oh my god. I like I thought I was gonna throw up. That's how much it hurt. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot. You know what I should do actually before I do my makeup? Tweeze my eyebrows. My eyebrows are absolutely horrendous. I'm kind of down for like the bushy look, but like the look in between the brows, the, like the hairs, I'm not I'm not down for that look. I don't think I have patience for this right now, guys. I need to cut them, trim them. Hold on. Y'all are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I literally don't have small scissors. So I use these big ones to cut my eyebrow hair. Very carefully, you know, a nice trim. Nice trim doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> also, I think I'm gonna do a red lip today because I'm wearing a black dress. I think if I had like time to really do my makeup, I would have because I haven't really done a full, full face of makeup in so long. But when you're on a time crunch, you gotta do what you gotta do. As long as you please yourself, all that matters, people. It just feels weird like doing this because, guys, literally my first videos on YouTube were like me trying to be a beauty guru, and then now I've just given up on that and don't even do my makeup. <laughs> I started. Now I don't even like do my makeup. It's like it's more of me just throwing on concealer and going. Guys, if you know me, I cannot stand long nails. The longest I can go is honestly how long they are. I don't know if you can even see that, but that is the longest I can have my nails. I wear contacts and I just do so much stuff that requires me to use my fingers and not get stuff stuck under my nails. Like if you can pull off like the long acrylics, good for you. I wish I could. I always wanted to. I felt there were so beautiful looking, but I just can't. Guys, I look so pale. And you know what? It's because I am pale. Oh my God, I really hope this event's worth it because I hate events. I don't like going to events. I, I, I ever. I never go to events. Yeah, I get it. Like you can go and like network and stuff, but I don't know how to go up to someone and be like, hey, what's up? Like, you want to do business with me? I was actually going to nair my mustache, but it's really not bad. But usually when I nair, my upper lip, it gets super red and it takes a minute for the redness to go down. You usually can see the redness through the concealer. <laughs> I'm just, you know, forget it, it's fine. But I don't need that gone today. I just did my eyebrows. Let me tell you, the power makeup is insane. I still can't believe it's 2019. I swear that week between Christmas and New Year's it's the most it's the most weird week of my life because I feel like I'm still like doing stuff I'm like filming but then like everyone's out of office no one's working like I can't do anything I don't know it's just such a weird vibe like I literally didn't take one sip of alcohol on New Year's Eve not one at all, nothing. And it was nice. But I'm also not a big drinker. Like I really don't care to drink. I'm the kind of person that I just like drink socially. If I go out to a bar or something with my friends or like if I go out somewhere, I'll have like a drink or two. But like, I really don't care to drink that much, which I guess is a good thing, but it's not like I'm like, anti against it. I just I drink like maybe once or twice a month. It's not a big thing for me. Like in Hawaii a little bit, but not even. I didn't really even drink in Hawaii. Also, question, y'all can just leave them down in the comments below. Do any of y'all have a keratin treatment? I really want to get one done because my hair, like I said, is so frizzy and it's sometimes so hard to manage. And sometimes I want to just get out of the shower and leave and get out of my house and not have to worry about doing my hair every time. So let me know if any of y'all have the keratin, which one you recommend, if there's different kinds. Eyebrows done. Time for eyes. Eyes, I'm just going with basic brown smoky eye. Maybe I'm gonna make it a little darker today. I'm doing a red lip, so I don't wanna go too crazy with the eyes. Literally right before I started filming this, I popped carrots into the oven. 
You're like, what? Kara's into the oven. I don't know why. I don't like cooking stuff on the stove top. I love just roasting everything in the oven. Put some carrots in the oven that I'm gonna make with salmon because I don't think this event has food. And if they do, it's usually like the little finger food. Guys, low key love the L'Oreal Camila Cabello collaboration. The eyeshadows are really cool. They're really like creamy and blendable. I love them. So now, sorry, my camera shut off. So sorry if I'm not like completely perfect where I was before. I had to go fix some things. So yeah, I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics palette. Oh, I should've just been using this mirror. It is way bigger. Look how much bigger this is. I was using my little like whatever. I'm taking like a brown and a black and I'm smoking out the bottom of my eye. I like to take a little bit of that highlight I was using. Put that on my brow bone. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'm gonna go do my eyeliner and eyelashes off camera. I will be back. All right guys, so I just did my eyeliner and eyelashes. The eyelashes I used are from Tarte and they're called Goddess. I use Goddess and Center of Attention, but Goddess is a little more dramatic. That's what I use like when I go to events or like parties and stuff. Center of Attention is like everyday kind of thing. Eyeliner, I did just like my normal winked liner. Yeah, so this is my face right now. I was gonna do red lips, but then I chickened out. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna be worrying about what my red lip is gonna be looking like throughout the event and like it smears and it's like, I don't have a good red lip. I think maybe I go out and buy a good red lip, but I don't have a great one, so I don't even want to put it on. But I'm gonna do my normal lip. I just use this Clinique lipstick in Blushing Pop. It's like a mini one that I got at an event or something. I just put a little bit on, nothing too crazy. And then I do gloss. Gloss is like the number one for me. And I'm using the, the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm, but it just gives me that. Bam. Now my face is done. I'm gonna try and show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing. I'm gonna put it on. Maybe I could just show you a little bit of it. I'm not gonna be able to get a full shot, but I'll insert a photo. Yeah, let me go put that on. I'll be right back. Hold on, let me just do a zoom in, I guess, of my face. Is it focused? I hope it is. So this is my face. This is my bootleg full face makeup look. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I'll put that on. I'll be right back. Sorry guys, real fast. I just wanna show you guys the dress first before I put it on. It is this black dress from Mistress Rocks. It is this black like satin silky dress. It's like a short dress with like some lace at the bottom. Very cute, kind of lingerie vibes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna wear this with these, they're like these like clear strappy heels from House of CB. These are gonna kill my feet. I already know it, but it's fine. You know, beauty, beauty is pain. So. Hit myself in the eye. So I'm gonna throw this on and I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is the dress. This is it. You see, I can't really show it to you. It's kind of hard. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw them on with these heels and probably like a leather jacket or something. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, guys, so this is the dress. It's very, uh, you know, a little something, something. It's a kind of event. This is like a very like high-end, fancy cocktail thing. Like, Basically just wearing like little cocktail dresses like this and like a little jacket and then heels. So here's a picture of the final like all together, I guess, or just a full body photo of me in it. So there you go. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my zero to 100 transformation. I went from frizzy hair with Pimple showing to, you know, my bootleg face, makeup, and my straight hair. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see me do. Put those push notifications on so when I upload, you'll know exactly when I do. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!